I would like to formally thank you to my beautiful neighbor that um, we, this family is such very lucky to have you all that have so much patience that <laughs> my kid misbehaving in all sorts of ways, but we still have the patience to um, understand us and um, put up with us. So thank you so much for you all. And um, I really do appreciate it. And, um, and second of all, I would like to thank my husband and my kid that um, you really support me whenever, um, whenever I wanted to, um, to do um, dana. And you really just support me through all the way. Thank you very much. And, um, and first of all, I would like to thank you um, to the Buddha and um, to Dharma and to the um, Preong. <laughs> um, <laughs> I really do understood when I said I really appreciate and thank you to the Buddha and the Dharma because it's so incredible that he lived such um, teaching for all to all of us to learn. And I thank to um, monk that they really learn and understood the concept of Dharma. Without them, we can never understand the Dharma. So um, today, it's it's such. It's very touching that Praong Santaji is being here, and I would have that chance to show my husband and my family how important you are to me. That you have touched the teaching that you've given. It's really enlightened my understanding. I don't mean that I'm enlightened yet. <laughs> yes, and um, with that, it's really. Um, bring me to understood myself first of all and have the patience to understand my family especially and thank you so much um, my dear husband and my kid for um, behind me even though sometimes I'm quite nasty <laughs> but you still smile and walk away <laughs> so thank you so much <laughs> they know and my neighbor as well especially Ross he know who I am, so <laughs> I I don't need to say anything. Is it? Yep, Simon. Yep, I know you. You just like my wife, <laughs> and he take whatever he take whatever I. He just saw my face. That yep, Simon. I'm not saying anything more. <laughs> just so thank you so much, Ross. Thank you so much, and um, that's it really. And I um oh, I know. <laughs> so the l only word I can say is that thank you so much. มันจําบัดบอกปรายเด้นะขอให้บอกปรายฝึกบัดให้ยังមកទីមកទេសរបស់ខ្ញុំអឺខ្ញុំមិនដើរដឹងខ្ញុំមិនដើរដឹងថាធរនេះជាធរដល់ជ្រាលជ្រើដល់អាចដែលអាចធ្វ
cọt mình ai cho tôi vô thà cọt nâng chứ ba chi tờ chứ ba chi nâng tờ hay tờ cọt khom tờ bon sơn cọt khom tờ hào bờ hiu su ở chui cọt khom nẹt na cả đời ao tại chui cọt ban ở cọt ban chư ban ruồi thật pi ca nè cứ cọt thơ tờ ở hay ở vây để khi nhom đăng chơi chơi men tên nè cứ cọt sầm lăng một khi nhom hay cọt su khi nhom tha côn tao mai nâng bàn chì ọt côn bè nụ ở rõm khi nhom chư khăn mẹn tên vụ ấy khi nhom đăng thà bè bà rạp hai thà cọt bàn ái tư rụi tê khi nhom cứ họ cọt khi nhom đăng thà khi nhom miễn bạp thăng ngôn khi nhom cả họ cọt khi nhom thà mai mai nâng chì bàn tay khi nhom đăng thà cọt bàn chì tê bè nụ hai đà là hốt một cực bố nâng cứ khi nhom bàn ái chì bà khuôn ái bàn xa vụ ấy ở rõm lại thà ข้อช่องตาขยมเขายังนาได้ขยมเขาตีมวยนั่งมันเป็นจะเรื่องเขาเตะตีมวยนั่งคือท่าตาขยมอาจมีสมรรถภาพนำใบรูปเป็ดเ
we all have the same suffering and what we need is the real happiness in life that's why suffering or happiness have no boundary nationality is just something that people think people always have the idea of uh, the nationality but actually we all if we don't call Australian, Khmer, Chinese or Indian yeah it is just the name but what we need not different we need peace we need happiness love compassion so compassion is not uh, belong to any particular nations but for the whole world so that's why you know hundred years ago or thousand years ago there were many many kinds of religion in India but Only Buddhism, only the teaching of Buddha that spread to out to other countries. Because the teaching is something that we have to learn and practice in our life. People that become a Buddhist or non-Buddhist but they just accept the teaching of Buddha by understanding. They haven't followed only culture or the order from their ancestor, but by their own understanding. Like me and all of them here, we have never known each other before. But Throughout studying the Dhamma that taught by the Buddha, now we are become a close person. We, yeah, we become friends. So, how long have you known me? Probably um, a couple months. Okay, just couple months. But. After we study the Buddha's teaching, we become friends. We become very close friends. And we understand each other a lot. You know, I have never been here before. <laughs> but I come here with trust. I don't hesitate to come because I understand their mind. Because the one who really understand the Buddha's teaching, they have a lot of compassion and honesty. So, even I haven't uh, well, been here, but I'm happy to come here. Because I understand them a lot after we have discussed about life. So, Dharma that, teach, uh, that taught by the Buddha is something that connected with our life. So we can call the Buddha's teaching as the way of life, the way to reduce stress, the way to reduce depression. You know, in the world, even in the developed country, people have everything. They have house, cars, money, but they still have depression, right? They still have unsatisfaction. That's why people create war. They fight each other. They want to get the real happiness, but they create war. This is not the real way. The real happiness is not from the war. It's come from inside. Inside wisdom. When people develop to understand their life 
and their real purpose in life. They never create war. So the one who understand the reality of life, they never create war, but they create compassion. They do charity. They offer something to people. They always do something good to other people, the same thing as they want something from people. Do you understand what I'm talking about? So we all can become friends, can become relative by trying to understand the reality of life. So what is life? Life is something that you are seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, touching, and thinking. Without seeing, without hearing, without smelling, without tasting, and without touching or without thinking, there is no life. That's why life is used for only the human being or uh, all beings that have body and mind. The, in the term of Pali words that call jivat, jivat, you know jivat mean life, is called only for the human or animals, but we don't use it for the tree or for uh, things like the rock or the earth or the tree but it is used for only uh, human beings or animal so learn Dharma or learn the Buddha's teaching is try to understand try to understand all things that is appearing right now. Like now you can see me and at the same time you can hear my sound. So it is the process of life. You see the 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 person who has passed away already, like your mother, there is no hearing, seeing anymore. So, when we try to understand what we are experiencing in life, it means you are l trying to understand the Dharma. So the Dharma is talking about that. That's why Religion or nationality is not the, ben the boundary of understanding Dharma. The whole world should become too close to each other by understanding the real meaning of life. Yeah, this is my first introduction about what is Dharma and what is the Buddha's teaching. But we, we can have a discussion if you have some question. My friend, um, my son. Um, my son actually has a deep belief in Buddhism. I must admit I don't. I'm a Christian and I believe in a Christian God, but my son um, believes in Buddhism and unfortunately his marriage broke up uh, 10 years ago and it was his belief in Buddha that got him through that and I'm eternally grateful to Buddha for that. Buddha saved his life. You know, he wanted to end his life, but his faith and his belief in Buddha saved his life. Um, 
and that's why I wanted to learn more about it and it was I don't think it was just a coincidence that that Simone came into my life because it, when she came into my life it gave me the opportunity to be able to learn more about the teaching and the belief system um, we have countless countless books on Buddhism in my home in my son's home but I'm not a book reader I never have been so I've been able to learn it orally verbally um, from from Simone and I'm just very very eternally grateful that you know that's the situation in my life thank you Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, honestly, um, Buddha never asked someone to believe him, but he just teach, explain, and then you choose. After you understand, you can choose what you have to do or what you have to give up by your own understanding. Buddha never forced, never forced someone to do something. For example, he never forced someone to obey or to pay homage to him. But he just try to explain, try to explain what to see all things as they are. He tried to explore your wisdom. When you understand all things as they are, it is your own wisdom, not the Buddha's wisdom. He just show the way, he just teach. So if you are being taught, you have to learn, and then you understand. The Dharma is like mathematics. So the one who, who, who understands the mathematics is not just the one who only remember the formula of mathematics, but the most important is understanding. You can analyze you can answer the question because of understanding. So, the Buddha is the teacher. He is not a, a something like a supreme being from the heaven or anything that people think, but he, was, he, he is a normal person. Mm -hmm. Yes, so he have the same body, the same as yours. So what he share is the teaching. He only try to explain, to explore your wisdom. So we all have wisdom. We all have compassion. We all have everything like Buddha. But he just show the technique like Vipassana or meditation. We all have it, but we just don't know how to do it. So he just give the key. He just, yeah. So that's why many people in the world, from especially in Asian, Asian, Asia. yeah, Asia, yeah, they um, accept the teaching of Buddha to practice in their life. They don't care about what nationality Buddha is, but they just take the teaching. So the teaching is general, not for any particular nations. Like uh, when we have depression or when we have unsatisfaction in life, it's the same thing as when we get sick, physical sick, we go to the doctor. We don't ask, Doctor, what is your nationality? <laughs> we don't ask that. 
we ask for treatment we ask for medicine so medicine also have no uh, nationality like panadol or panadin that uh, yeah known as uh, belong to australia yeah we can use in australia and can use in another country as well yeah we can send it to cambodia cambodian people can use it so dhamma or the teaching of buddha is like medicine it is no boundary between nations between religion no we can accept it all together like the medicine yes i have met many friends from many country but after they learn the buddha's teaching they express their appreciation to the buddha a lot like mrs yeah simon yeah have already talked Life as a monk is a very, very... But you get more to the people, you can get to the people. You can get to the people. Hey, the people, you can get to the people. Oh, but you can get to the people. You can get to the people. The people, you can get to the people. You can get to the people. តើព្រះអង្គខត់ខំរៀនប្រពណ្ណាហើយកាន់ឲ្យធ្វើឲ្យខ្ញុំជ្រះថ្លាហើយយកថាយើងជាអឺជាមនុស្សចាអឺយើ
มันละหายบ่ซั่นจะมีการคอชกงกะไหลนาปิตุจยิงมันอาจอีเวนจัดยิงมันอาจทาเอออ่าอึ้งจ้ายอึ้งจ้องมันอาจมีเปียสํารั
duty of care as a monk. Mm -hmm. Yes, that uh, w they they sustain their um, their living by us supporting them. So without us, their life is a bit harder. Mm. And then without them, our life is harder because the Dharma is such an incredible um, teaching that we are normal person, we cannot understand it. So they try day and night to actually learn, learn and learn, persevere. Yes, yes. And um, that's why without monk, the Dharma would have been just defunct as well. Yeah, so that's why I really, really, yeah, it will disappear. It will disappear because I'm learning some of it and I know, oh my God, it is so hard. And I have to listen every single day to remind myself just one word, just one word. I target myself one word per day. That's all I want, nothing more. And can you imagine they learning day and night? So that's why it is such incredible. Without monk, Dharma will be gone. So we have to thank, thank the monk. Yes. Okay. You can ask uh, well. <laughs> Oh, I don't really yeah. know any questions. Uh, but I'd just like to say thank you very much for welcoming me over here. That was lovely of you. And Phyllis and Ross, it was lovely to in, uh, have us in your home. And um, I think it all sounds lovely. And I'm going to the library to get some books to read about Buddhism. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> <coughs> okay. <coughs> um, the Buddha's teaching is the lesson that uh, taught by the Buddha. It's not like a religion because. In religion, you have to obey. You have to do something introduced by the God. You have to believe. But in Buddhism, Buddha never asks someone to believe. It's your choice. He just teach, he just explain, and then you choose the way to practice in life. He gave the he he um value the 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 people to use their own ability to think to uh, develop their understanding. So um, <clears throat> when if, if you you want you really want to understand what Buddha is teaching. Um, uh, don't let the word religion stop you because sometimes people make the argument with the word religion they ask what religion are you do you believe what religion do you believe sometimes they fight each other because of different religion right? but you know, when the Buddha just got enlightenment, at the first time, he was only the one person who enlightened 
the Four Noble Truths. Even his relative never known about that. His relative also have their religion. Yeah, his friends, his relative, his people, because he was a king. Before he went to become a holy monk, a holy life, he was a king. He left alone to find the truth. After he got the way of life, he started to teach. So all of the people who listen to Buddha, they all have their own religion. So that's why Buddha called himself a doctor. And the teaching is the medicine. So the doctor never care about uh, the different religions of the patients. You got my my point, my meaning? Yes. So, for example, the the flu can happen all human. So the doctor create the medicine. His purpose only to treat or to cure all patients, no matter where they're from, what they are. Whenever they need the doctor, the doctor always cure them and give them the medicine. So like me, I'm from Cambodia. Last month I went to the doctor too. The doctor is Australian. He treat me as Australian. He never care. Oh, where are you from? What nationality you are? He never asked about that. The same thing as the Buddha. He never care about the nations or nationality or religion. But he just show the way how to live with the real peace in life. We all have the ability or uh, have the occasion to, to get it. So, if the people think about religion, they cannot understand the Buddha's teaching. Because the Buddha's teaching has, is not a religion. Is the teaching of life. But some people have doubt or have some wonder that do people who follow Buddhas have to become a monk like me? <laughs> no. Yeah, my, my friends, most of my friends from different countries always ask me about that. When I explain them about how to live uh, with peace or with the real happiness in life. And then they, they ask me this question. Oh, now I start to understand, but what should I do? If I want to uh, <laughs> practice the Buddha's teaching, should I become a monk like you? I tell them, it is optional, not compulsory. Up to you. Like in one country, all people love their own country. But some people want to be a soldier, and some people want to make a business, but they all can protect their country. If you want to be a soldier, you have to train how to fight <laughs> to protect the country. But if you are normal people, you have to work and pay the tax the tax, right? Yes. Yeah, like in Buddhism, if you want to work more, to learn more, and to help people more to understand the Buddha's teaching, yeah, you can become a monk, because when you become a monk, you have more time to learn, to practice, to teach. But if you are a normal person, you have to work, you spend most time to find money to survive. So it is your choice. 
Yeah. Don't scare. <laughs> Don't afraid. Yeah. Yes. It is your choice. So that's why you know in uh, uh, recently in England there are many Buddhist center that just uh, uh, built now because people start to understand the Buddha's teaching. See? When I, what I'm trying to, to talk now about the Buddha's teaching, if you just focus on something that you hear or something you see that I, I always call traditional Buddhism, you cannot understand the real teaching of Buddha. The traditional Buddhism have different form, different shape. Like if you go to China, you see the people, people who uh, uh, follow the Buddhism. It's not the same as in Cambodia, different culture. So if, yeah, this is my message to all, uh, to those who never know about Buddhism, that if you really want to know what Buddhism really is, you have to learn the Buddha's teaching straight away. If you just go to the monastery to try to understand oh, uh, something that people do, it is just tradition. It's not the real teaching of Buddha. The real teaching of Buddha is the same thing as what I have talked at the, pre, uh, at the beginning of my uh, speech. It's about life. Whose life? Your life. So the real Buddha's teaching is in your life. When you understand Dhamma, means you understand your life. So it is only the way of life, the way to reduce stress, depression, anxiety. Yeah, this is what we, we need, right? Yeah, you can, you still keep your religion. Yeah. Buddha never Every force. Religion, Buddha yes, Buddha. no matter what religion Buddha, you believe. Nature, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Like um, Buddha compare. <coughs> you know, being a monk come from different area of life. Some from the yeah different tribe, some from the rich family, some from the poor family, and some yeah used to be a king, but when they become a monk, they have only yeah they have the same way to live together, in as a monk. It's like the river or the the stream of water who flow from the mountain to the sea. When the water reach the sea, they become only one. one. Yeah, only one. So, no matter what religion you are, no matter what nationality you are, but he just show the way to develop your wisdom, to see things as they are, to see the reality of life and live with peace and the real happiness in life. That's it. He doesn't need you to register as a Buddhist. <laughs> never, never need that. ยิ่งติดมั้ยยิ่งยิ่งยิ่งลุ้นได้จ้ะอ๋อไอ้ลูกอ๋อลุ้นได้จ้ะมีโจมมาจ้ําตลอดยิ่งติดจ้ะอ
Thank you for listening, <laughs> for your attention. I'm very happy to meet all of you here, and Buddha bless you. <laughs> Some, some, okay.